What up, what up, that's the Miss Squad, and welcome back, guys. It's your boy, Sean. And your girl, Mel. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, guys, and we are welcome back, back with guys. another video. Okay, so today we got seven shocking details of P. Diddy, 120 new sex abuse accusers coming forward. Wow. 120? Wow. That's a lot. It's like two football teams. Goodness. Wow. Woo, one so man. <laughs> one I mean, man. One man. Doing all of this, like. I mean, we actually grew up watching this guy, man, perform all of these artists. It's just so much that, you know, he brought to hip hop. And Most now definitely. to come to this. So we just going to go ahead and get into it, guys. But make sure you smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. All right, here we go. All Let's right, go ahead and get into it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get into it. P. Diddy is about to be slammed with more than a hundred new civil lawsuits as a wave of accusers come forward with even more shocking allegations. And according to the attorney bringing the lawsuits, these hundreds of accusations include child sexual assault. In one case, on a child as young as nine. What? But Diddy wait, isn't the wait, only wait, one wait, implicated. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, is they talking about Justin Bieber? I don't think so, because I think he was a teenager when he started. But as young as nine? Nine? What type of mess is... Okay, I'm sorry. Didn't okay, mean to our stop. baby boy just turned nine. So now I'm thinking I nine? I don't want to bring out baby That's a baby. Come on, here disgusting. we go, here we go, here we go. In fact, high-profile celebrity names are expected to be revealed in these new lawsuits, and that could lead to even more charges. To understand all this, we'll sit down with former federal prosecutor Gene Rossi to break down everything we know so far. I'm Sierra Gillespie, and this is Law and Crime News. If 12 civil lawsuits and three federal charges weren't enough, Sean P. Diddy Combs is now up against more than 100 new shocking accusations in his alleged sex trafficking scheme that spanned multiple decades. Diddy's fall from grace started nearly one year ago in November 2023, when his ex-girlfriend Cassandra Ventura filed a bombshell civil lawsuit against him. Cassie's lawsuit laid out some major claims against the once beloved music icon, saying that over the course of their years-long relationship, Diddy physically, verbally, and sexually assaulted Cassie. And she didn't shy away from any of the details either. She gave specific examples of Diddy's alleged abuse, like when he forced her to carry illegal firearms or have sex with prostitutes. And Cassie's lawsuit also introduced us to the now infamous term freak off. She says it started when Mr. Combs hired a man and brought the man to his home in Los Angeles. The man, Mr. Combs, and Miss Ventura wore masquerade masks and ingested drugs. Mr. Combs directed Miss Ventura to perform sexual acts with this man while Mr. Combs watched them. He allegedly masturbated while he directed Miss Ventura and the man to do specific sexual acts. Mr. Combs began to call the arrangement a freak off or FO. He would repeatedly tell Miss Ventura at random moments that he wanted an FO, and Miss Ventura was eventually expected to facilitate the location and the hiring of male sex workers. Wow. What in the SM is going on up in here? Why is this man's so, love, first of all? Like, you hired a man to come sleep with your girl? A sex worker at that. And you watch Someone who could give her something. Like, where's the love in that? Wow. What is going on, Diddy? I am disgusted. Here we go, guys. This is terrible. These same allegations were made over multiple other civil lawsuits, including the one filed by Rodney Jones, who's also known as the producer Lil Rod. His lawsuit was filed back in February and also specifically mentions freak offs. Lil Rod alleges he saw a similar pattern to what Cassie described, saying he was sexually assaulted by Diddy, forced to consume drugs, and even have sex with a prostitute. This same lawsuit alleges there are hundreds of hours of video and audio recordings of Diddy and others participating in this illegal activity. We now know that when federal authorities raided Diddy's homes back in March, they were collecting some of that electronic evidence, and now it's being used in the case against him. The federal indictment against Diddy mentions this evidence and also defines freak-offs, saying they were elaborate and produced sex performances that Combs arranged, directed, masturbated during, and often electronically recorded. 
Okay, I know you're multitasking when you're watching our videos, and if you're out running errands, listen up. I have to tell you about the free app Upside that gets you cash back on daily essentials. It's something I call e fluids. During the federal raids, investigators collected some freak off items, including more than a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube. Prosecutors used all this evidence and more to move forward with Diddy's charges of racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking by force, fraud, or coercion, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Diddy's pleaded not guilty to these charges and says his side of the story will come out at trial. All the while, Diddy is behind bars Wait a at the minute. Metropolitan. His what is side your side of the story? Of the story you Diddy? orchestrated this. Like, how could you ever say? You're waiting for your side of the story. Like, like, like you're going to be able to get your way out of this. Like you're going to be able to talk your way out of this. Goodness gracious. What can you possibly say? Well, that that's you how you hiring? know that there is something wrong with this man. Like, I mean, he, it's, a, it's a deep most sickness. definitely sick and delusional. It's a deep sickness. I mean, deep rooted illness. And, and he's also a danger. I, I, I mean, I just to don't women understand. And people, women, men, everyone. He is a danger. I don't, I don't Imagine understand. Imagine what he would be mind. doing now if he was out hurting like, more people. Like, this is. I mean, he's basically hung out the dry. Here we go, guys. Goodness gracious. Alton Detention Center in Brooklyn, having been denied bail twice. Wow. And while Diddy is literally in a holding pattern, the case against him continues to build, with a wave of new civil lawsuits soon headed his way. This week, Houston-based attorney Tony Busby announced oh 120 civil lawsuits against Diddy will be filed in the next 30 days. If that what? number is staggering, consider this one, the number of people that initially reported the sexual abuse. Busby says it's thousands. Now, the lawsuits haven't been filed yet, so we're still wow. unclear about specific information like dates or names. Here's what we do know. Busby says the assaults took place in Los Angeles, Miami, and New York, dating as far back as 1991. 60 of the plaintiffs are women and the other 60 are men, and of them, 25 Whoa. alleged they were sexually assaulted as minors, the youngest of which was only 9 years old when the sexual assault occurred. What? Others were only 14 or 15. Wow, Over the dozens of lawsuits, man. plaintiffs will describe new allegations against Diddy, including violent sexual assault or rape, sexual abuse, facilitating sex with controlled substances, false imprisonment, compelling prostitution, sexual misconduct, dissemination of video recordings, and sexual abuse of minors. Wow. And then there's the other people involved. Diddy's associates could be named in these coming lawsuits, but so too could be some high profile names. Busby says he can't wow. tell us the names specifically, but that they are high profile and will shock us. Woo! In an interview just this week, Busby told me some of the allegations in these new civil lawsuits could mean even more charges are filed. What I'm hoping is, and I'm encouraging my clients to those that, to the extent wow. that they are willing to do so, to you know make themselves available to the federal authorities uh, to get tell their story, and uh, wow. I expect the indictment will grow. I expect there will be more counts. If the federal indictment does in fact grow, how would that even work? Could any of these soon to be revealed high profile names be listed as co-defendants? Here's where we turn to former federal prosecutor Gene Rossi for some more insight. So just starting talking about these more than 100 new civil lawsuits that are about to be filed against P. Diddy, what's your initial take just hearing that number, 120 new lawsuits? Whoa. Well, the number that really shocked me is there were 3,000 people that contacted this team of lawyers and they pared it down to only 120. So wow. they probably have other victims Ooh. that they could use if they have to, but 120 is just enormous. That is, and that shows wow. to me, uh, and these are allegations, they have to be proven both wow. criminally and civilly. It shows to me that for the last 20 years, allegedly, uh, Diddy has been um, engaging in quite a massive uh, enterprise that violates uh, federal criminal laws and state laws. And you know, since this news of wow. these 120 lawsuits, you said 3,000 people had come forward. I actually spoke to the attorney who's planning to file and he said thousands more came forward after this. So do you think it's possible this is just the start of civil suits against P. Diddy? 
Well, it, it reminds me of the uh, quarterback, Deshaun Watson. I think he's now the quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. But Deshaun Watson only had about 20 to 25 accusers. Good. Uh, when you get into um, three digits, wow. you know, 120, probably 150 at the end of the day, that's just enormous. And two things happen. Number one, his legal fees are going to be incredibly high. Oh, yeah. He'll have to get a team of 25 lawyers to handle all these lawsuits. But the key word is distraction. Uh, Sierra, he's facing a federal indictment, uh, you know, propounded by one of the top U.S. attorney's offices in the country, the Southern District of New York. They're the varsity. They're geniuses. And they don't indict somebody because it's a slow day in the grand jury. Mm -hmm. So he has that big monster federal indictment. And now he's going to have approximately 120 civil suits. He, I don't know how he's going to survive financially, if not emotionally. Oh, right. That leads into my next question about the prosecution against Diddy, because he's now been indicted on three federal charges, as you said, super severe. But what are prosecutors thinking as they're hearing about these new lawsuits? Do you think they're going to investigate them and maybe add charges? If I'm a prosecutor, um, number one, they, they may add charges. They don't have to but they may add charges. Yeah, yeah. But n more important, when I'm a prosecutor, and and I was one for a long time, and there's a civil suit going on, um, it's a two-edged sword. That civil suit could give you more evidence, could give you more victims, yeah. could give you more information, but it also could, could jeopardize the credibility of potential witnesses in your criminal trial because they'll be deposed They'll be questioned and they will be subject to civil discovery. So there's that that tension. I had a I had a criminal case against a pain doctor and there was a civil lawsuit, a wrongful death suit. It was an overdose. And that civil lawsuit actually very much helped my criminal case um, because the defendant in my criminal case made some statements in the civil case uh, that were not helpful to him in my case. So it can help the prosecutors, but it can hurt uh, the uh, credibility of witnesses. It's a okay. it's a high wire act. Right. I mean, it's just an overwhelming number of people who say they were victimized by P. Diddy. There are more than a thousand now at this point, at least according wow. to the attorney who's bringing these suits. But what's interesting is that in the federal indictment, there's only one victim that's listed as victim one. Why do you think that is that? Federal prosecutors only included that one victim rather than the hundreds of others. What the prosecutors did is they filed or presented to the grand jury this indictment with one victim uh, right. just to get something filed so he would be arrested and detained and jailed. Okay. Uh, I will be shocked if the prosecutors in the Southern District of New York do not supersede, uh, amend, if you will, uh, and add additional charges and additional victims. I would be shocked if they do not do that. Okay. So the first indictment is just a taste of what's to come. Oh, okay. What will that look like as federal prosecutors are potentially going to add, as you said, future charges, future victims? What's going on behind the scenes right now? Are they interviewing other people? Are they coming together and deciding what charges would be appropriate? What would that look like? They are interviewing other people. They may be uh, conducting grand jury testimony um, if they're looking at additional charges. Uh, they can't use the grand jury to, to build a case against the charges that are returned and approved already, but they can look at other charges. And uh, that's what they're doing right now. Mm. And as I said in one of my earlier appearances with you, uh, they're probably working 24-7 uh, working Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. And for those prosecutors in the Southern District, uh, this case will be consuming their life for at least the next two years.
And you know what was interesting to me when I read the indictment is that there was no mention of any child sexual abuse. This is something we heard rumblings of for many years, that Diddy had allegedly sexually assaulted people who were minors. And now with these new 120 lawsuits, there are some pretty stark accusations that he sexually assaulted kids as young as 9, 14 years old. Is that something that federal prosecutors might take a look at? Oh, absolutely. Well, <laughs> there's there's nothing that inflames the passions of a jury uh, than the exploitation of someone who's underage. And if you have a, per, uh, a victim who's nine years old, 11, 12, 13, 14, in their early teens, uh, that is incredibly powerful uh, for a prosecutor to present to a jury. He's and done. as I understand I mean, it, these 120 TV. potential lawsuits, the ages range from a high of 38 to as low as age nine. Whoa. And I also understand that about two thirds are African American, uh, a third are white. Um, uh, we have uh, women and men. So you have the, uh, the full panoply. But here's what else is important. According to the articles, the attorneys who are representing the civil victims, civil suits, uh, they're going to list as as defendants, not just Diddy, but other people. And mm-hmm. uh, according to the attorneys, some of those other people, those other co-defendants, uh, they may be names that will be easily recognizable by the general public. You just brought up the next part that I wanted to talk about, that we're not sure who these names are as of yet, but some people have said they're even more popular than P. Diddy or even more A-list, that we're going to be shocked by these names. Again, let's not speculate on who it could be. We could see this soon, hopefully. But what does that mean for those people, celebrities who right now are thinking, okay, yeah, I was at a Diddy party back in the day. I did participate. What's going on for them? (laughs) <laughs> I can tell you this, yes. those people you're talking about that may be co-defendants of Diddy, they know who they are. They definitely and they are not getting sleep right now. Yeah. And they're probably getting attorneys because uh, they're going to face a civil suit and possibly a criminal. And you could see the Whoa. prosecutors in the Southern District, based on information in the civil suits, maybe adding... Uh, a couple of co-defendants in the federal indictment. Now, if they do that, it kind of raises legal issues, motions for severance, things like that, uh, could delay trials. Uh, so they may keep it just against Diddy because it'll be simple and straightforward, sort of like uh, what Jack Smith did against uh, Mr. Trump. He had one defendant, Mr. Trump, in the January 6th case, mm-hmm. to keep it simple. Prosecutors may do that and just have it against Diddy, but they may add co-defendants. But those civil suits, they're going to have co-defendants for sure. Wow. Now, it does Whoa. seem to me that prosecutors Uh-oh. want to nail Diddy, so to speak. I mean, he's the kingpin be- behind all of this, and he's the one who has been indicted as of now. So if these other names could be added as co-defendants, we'll see. But I'm wondering if potentially they would speak with prosecutors or investigators and flip and testify for the prosecution rather than become a co-defendant, potentially. Uh, When I was a prosecutor, I always uh, referred to the pancake theory. You try to get people to cooperate and flip them like pancakes so you can use them in your case. So if the prosecutors are going to keep this case simple and just against Diddy, Those other people who may be culpable, as I say, I will try to flip them like a pancake and I'll offer them some options. One is immunity. And prosecutors don't generally like to give immunity. Two is say, listen, we're not going to add you to this case. We may charge you separately. So why don't you pay now as opposed to paying later and cooperate, plead guilty and hope for leniency at your sentencing? That's probably what could happen. Taking a look again at these new civil suits. Again, they haven't been filed yet, so we don't know for sure the entire details of them. We'll have to wait and see. But something that we have heard is it kind of shows the pattern that we've heard since the start with Diddy, that he would drug these people, then sexually assault them, oftentimes record it. So this has been documented throughout these civil suits 
at least a dozen times now, moving toward 120 times. Do you think this will be helpful for the prosecution to establish that he had some sort of pattern with all this? Oh, absolutely. Because they have charged basically a RICO in the federal case. And, and any, any crime that he committed that's part of that enterprise, that RICO, that will be admissible at trial. And here's the other thing. Those victims, whether it's 3,000 or 120, they may have text messages, emails, recordings, voicemail messages, videos that, that may help the government and they will readily turn that over. Again, it's just overwhelming the number of accusers, now lawsuits. Diddy is in trouble, to say the least. Big trouble. But what kind of defense do you think he could bring? He's been very outspoken through his attorney that we're going to fight this. Diddy says he's going to testify. But how could they combat all of these witness testimony and the evidence? I mean, is that even possible? Uh, anything's possible. And of course, he's uh, assumed, presumed innocent, their allegations. But here's the nub. When you have a case like this, um, the only defense that is viable, if there is one, is you have to attack the credibility of the uh, victims and say they consented, they were all in, they weren't coerced, and it sounds uh, horrible what happened in terms of these freak-offs, but it was a mutual understanding and that there was no exploitation, no crime, although it was sordid and, and um, you know, lascivious, as they say. Uh, but that would be the, the key defense is that they were all in and they consented. But enough. will a jury believe that? Mm -mm. Uh, we shall see. They're recounting this really difficult time in their life. Obviously, it's been very traumatizing. And now they're going to have the defense attorney saying, did it really happen? Didn't you consent? I mean, isn't that tough for the witnesses? It's tough for the witnesses, but but I forgot to mention this. For the underage victims, mm. uh, it's hard to say that a nine-year-old consented to any of this if it happened mm -hmm. or somebody who's 14. Yeah, That's yeah. why we have uh, statutory That's laws uh, for juveniles and all that. So for the one for the victims who are underage, uh, the consent argument is is just impossible to make. So those are really hard. But for the uh, older people, people over 18, 18 and older, their argument could be that that they that they, they you know, their argument is they were coerced. His argument is it's consensual. So regardless of the, the defense or what the victim says, it's going to be a mess. But those witnesses will be very powerful for the government under the RICO statute. We're still super early on. Diddy wasn't even indicted a month ago, so still in the early stages. But do you have any sort of guess on a timeline what things could look like? Sierra, I don't think there will be a trial in federal court in New York until probably 2026. Most definitely. It's definitely not occurring this year. It, and it's so much highly unlikely next year. The prosecutors will be lucky if the trial is in 2026. Well, Following the news of these 120 new civil lawsuits, Diddy's team released a new statement saying, quote, as Mr. Combs's legal team has emphasized, he cannot address every meritless allegation in what has become a reckless media circus. That said, Mr. Combs emphatically and categorically denies as false and defamatory any claim that he sexually abused anyone, including minors. Diddy has pleaded not guilty to the federal charges against him and is due back in court on October 9th. For Law and Crime, I'm Sierra Gillespie. Wow. Okay, first of all, now let's talk. Sierra Gillespie, she was asking the questions that we all want to know. Right. But She did a great job. What I want to know is who are the two high-profile celebrities? Oh, my goodness. Because it's going to come out. I'm pretty sure there's more than two. And I know that they cannot get any sleep. How can they sleep when they know, you know, um, the feds are coming? How can you def try to defend yourself from the this? The indictments are coming. I mean, <laughs> you did it. And it's like 120 we all know. people. <laughs> and it's like that 120 just keep being thrown around. So it's like. He might get 120 years. 
Wow. To life. Do you think he's going to get life? Yes. I don't think he's never going to see the light of the day. The light of day. Ever oh, again. Definitely. Ever again. Well, Just off him doing that to Cassie. Well, um, I think... And all these freakos. I think it's the years of abuse and, you know, sexually... Um, mental abuse that comes with this man you know people have room there have been rumors of murder yeah one lady said he shot her you know in a nightclub yep, in a like night club. there has been so many things um, that diddy has been tied to he even so went many crimes as far as blowing up someone's car most definitely you know how can you do that right so and then brag about it Goodness gracious. Then he also had young minors spending the night with him. Wow. We already know who they are. Who? Usher was one of them. Wow. Most de- Right. They was waking up. Justin Bieber. Talking about Frosted Flakes or something like that. Do you think <laughs> like, these the people will, you know, confess and join? I think they're going to do what's better for them. Which yes. is testify against Diddy. They're going That's to flip. That's what I'm saying. Yes. They're going to Most flip. Definitely. Flip like pancakes, she clear as her he name said. And say, you know what? I was drugged. I was forced. I, I mean, was, this is know, a lot of heat. It's too much. It's a mess. This is way too much heat. It's a mess. There is nothing you can do but flip at this yeah. point. Like, unless you want to go to jail for years or maybe I mean, the rest of your flip. life. Like, what else can you do? And then you got to think about the people like in a civil suit. They want that money. Yes. You know, they want to they want to attack that money. I don't care how much money he got. It's gone. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's after a this he he's I don't see him ever having freedom again. I don't see him ever having money again. I don't, you know. I mean, he's done. Completely. This is the end of Diddy. Everybody completely. can feel it. Everyone knows it. It's just how it's going to play out. But let's see, because you know that there are always loops when it comes to famous people. But see, so, this is the thing. When the feds come for you, they got enough. They have already They got enough for you at least to do 5 or 10 years, 15 years, whatever the case may be. Most definitely. And then you got to think about, you know, this happened, freak offs happened in New York, Miami, and L.A. So that's three different states right there. You know what I'm saying? That this happening. That's different wow. jurisdictions. So So basically like how, how did that work? For him to have all of these people come to his property to have these freak offs and do it without consent. As many people that would be down consensually. But see like why would you have to drug these people? Why would like why? This is the thing. I think what Diddy tried to do is record it so he got all of this documented. That was I think he got a lot of recordings of these things where he can say, well, they was doing that on their own. I had nothing to do. Like, I don't should, know. They, should they put this guy on America's most dumbest criminals? Like, you're I, recording I mean, yourself doing criminal activity. Like, who do you think you are to, you know, and for Cassie to speak up and stand up, she has saved so many lives. Yes, she has. You know, this woman is so courageous. Like she has saved so many women. Wow. But this is like still fresh. But it's a mess. And you know, at the end of the day, they're going to get to the bottom of it. But when when they say there were more A list celebrities that were going to be Ooh. shocked, I have one specific one in Ooh. mind. Ooh. I don't really want to say their that. name. They're a couple. Mm. A hot, very high profile mm. couple. And I'm hoping these two were not in it. And um, you got to think about, they said something about a pastor being at the freak offs. Don't wow. want to say any names because I don't want to, you know. Because we don't know. Jump the gun. But, but I definitely want to follow this case. I mean, we got to follow this. This is wow. still hot, it's still fresh. And it's the, you know, it's the topic trending right now. It's, you know, it's trending. So, guys, um, we also want to know what you guys think. Um, do you think Diddy deserved life? 20 years? 15 years? 30 years? Let like, us know in the comments. What you guys think? Because, you know, um, 
It's going to go to the grand jury. Like, wow. They're going to figure this out. This man, he was basically I, the devil. I, yeah, I mean, he's The sick. devil was in him. He is he defi- most definitely a sick man. His, and I know right now, without the drugs... It oh, is man. really everything that he has ever done is starting to hit him. Oh, yeah. That's it's when it easy to go through it when you're on drugs. Oh, yeah. His mind is like clearing drugs up. drugs wear off and now you're sober. And you got to think. You know. He's locked down 24-7. Just him. So he got time to, you know, talk to himself, think, and get his mind clear. Do you but think he'll take the easy the way out and just end it all? I don't want to say that. I think he's on um, like a like a close watch because people want answers. This people is a lot for one answers. person. Like, and for him to just slip out the back door and then everything is just over, you know what I'm saying? Like, we want answers. Most definitely. We want answers. All right, guys, um, let us know what you guys think. This is deep. What this do you really guys deep. think should happen? Yeah, because... Do you guys... <sighs> I mean, and I, who I, are I, the celebrities, the A-list celebrities that you guys think are involved in this case, let us know in the comments yes, section. Yes, that's what I want to know. Get straight to that comment section, guys. Who else guys. is involved? I want to know what you guys think You guys are on camera, man. You might as well just come forward. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get it out there. All right, guys. That's our time. Um, go ahead and smash that like button. Get this video a big fat thumbs up. And also, smash that subscribe button. We All appreciate right. it. We signing off, guys. Peace.